Hello, how are you? My name is Alejandro Sandoval, and this is the Solo Negocios video blog with the summary of the Solo Negocios Volatile for July 13, 2018. Today, the Mexican peso got appreciated again with a good turnout of the reunion between U.S. officers and Mexican President Enrique Peña Nieto, along with the virtual president for the next term, Mr. Andrés Manuel López Obrador. Uh, even when there's no official information on how it went in general terms, it seems that everything went well. Uh, Mexico is prepared to begin again negotiations with NAFTA at the end of this month and the U.S. is looking for some support in terms of immigration and other issues that are concerned of the United States policies. Well, in the Bloomberg Dollar Spot Index went down 0.03%. USA import prices went down surprisingly in June when it was expected to grow. Consumer confidence was a little bit below the, the expected uh, figure, but this information allows us to think that the Fed will follow gradual policy increases on the rate. Oil went up, even along with the several mixed uh, data along it, given that there was no more information on trade war, at least it went up. Bank of Mexico's exchange hedges were demanded 2.33 times the $200 million offered for 33 days, a little bit less um, volatility. But as expected on the bank spreads, 1.12 pesos, a little bit up one cent, respect yesterday. And support was 1850 to 1860, and resistance 1930 pesos per dollar in the wholesale market. The trend still going down for 30 days using a 12 month regression, linear regression, simple regression. Um, in policy terms, the US growth has been solid in the first half of the year given a Fed report to the Congress and they consider that there's ground for uh, gradual increases of the rate in the following uh, periods. But the president of Dallas, Robert Kaplan, uh, warned that an escalation in the U.S. tariffs, the trade war, will hurt the prospects and then the economy and then obviously they will have to be um, aware of that. He says that if, if trade tensions escalate, and while it is not work of the Fed, the trade policy, it must, re, it, it must react to it. So basically it's a warning position on what is going on on this trade war. Not much of, of, of information as it was mentioned on Tuesday when no information was issued and then markets went up. But then a uh, day after that, Donald Trump threatens uh, China with another third round of tariffs and obviously uh, markets went down again Wednesday and Thursday. But today, if there's no news again, well, we can find a position on, on a situation where uh, this trade war is on a pause, let's say. Given that scenario, the oil cost up, but with a second weekly drop followed, before trade war, Libya restores production. Other nations have trouble to sustain the, or raise production. The International Energy Agency warned that their world has a little ill supply capacity, so any new interruption will raise prices. So the trend is upwards, but there's like this late uh, more mixing movements in the figures in the graph for oil. And well, we don't know what's going on uh, in the following day because it's even uh, impossible potentially to analyze oil given that trade war impacts us pretty hard but any interruption in impacts hard also but US dollar impacts hard but you know everything has uh, a lot of meaning for that market so it's too volatile and it impacts also the other markets so in the end it's a complex situation that's the information we have for today. We'll see you next Monday. Thank you very much for your attention.